Are you looking for a gaming chair in the $200 price range? I think I got the one for you. Let's talk about it. What's up, buds? Welcome to Wanna Buy It. And on this channel, we do a whole bunch of tech and audio reviews, and sometimes we'll throw the occasional gaming chair and whatnot in there. If you guys are into any of that stuff, hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the bell notification when you do. And to all my subscribers now, thank you so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to, you guys can follow me on Instagram um, at RodWBI. I put the thing up here somewhere so you guys can check it out. So. Let's break down this chair. All right, bud, so right here we have the Nakaxis gaming chair. Um, it's going for about $200, so it's in that budget range for a gaming chair. For any people that know about gaming chairs, like the ones that we see on Instagram and stuff are always like $400, $500, and granted, those are like some of the top ones that everyone wants, including me. But right now, this one's going for 200 bucks if you're looking for a nice budget range gaming chair. I also did one for 150 from GT Racing. I put the card up there, and um, that one's just like 150 if you guys wanna check that out. So you're probably asking yourself right now, Rod, why do you have a pink gaming chair? Well, simple answer. My wife runs the emails, they reached out to us, and she asked for a pink gaming chair. <laughs> so this is what we got as a pink gaming chair, but she needed her own gaming chair because she got me the other one for Christmas. So now it's she finally has her own because she's always in mind playing the game. So it does come in seven different colors though, this being one of them. Um, and you basically get a variation of black and red and then it's like black and red or black and blue, I might say. So red, black, and blue is basically the variations you'll have. But yeah, they have seven different colors and I'll try to put them down here, pictures of them, if I can get it for you guys to see them. But there is seven different colors of this chair. And I'll put the link down in the description below for you guys so you can go down there and click that so you can see the current price and you guys can see all the colors and see the designs uh, more in depth for yourself. For the setup of this chair, it was fairly quick. It took about 30 to 40 minutes. Me and my wife knocked it out uh, pretty quick. Uh, you basically get these tools and a couple little parts that you need for this chair um, in this bag. But when it comes to the screws itself, they are already in place in the chair. So on the chair, you already have screws all, all over it. Um, and all you have to do is loosen them up with your hand and pull them out, put the part that goes into there, like the arm rest or anything. You put it in there and it just twists the screws back in and then tighten them with the um, with the tools. I really like that, that they were already in place so you don't have to scramble. And, oh, do I have enough that I used to, or did I put it in the wrong place? They're already in there. All you have to do, take them out, add the part, twist them back in. So that was really nice. So when it comes to the comfort of this chair, uh, the chair is really comfortable. It feels just like my GT racing chair. Uh, the material is a little bit better. Uh, I feel like the, the leather and the cushion is a little bit softer than the GT racing chair. The GT racing chair has like a really smooth, slick leather and it's really tight. And this one is uh, like way more softer. That's one thing I did notice from the chair right away. Um, it has the same lift as the GT racing chair. We can lift the armrest, but it doesn't have the turn function because on the GT racing chair, you can turn it. So we have the GT racing chair here. As you can see, they both have the lift. And then this one has a turn function. We could turn it. So if you want to pitch your arm a certain way, you have this right here and it'll be perfect. Now, one thing that I've noticed um, that this is way softer because it has a little bit more cushion on it than this GT racing chair. It's just a, a really hard, really thin padding. So that one on there, my arm will get kind of sore sometimes after a long gaming sessions. But this one for sure is way more comfortable and it just feels so soft on there. So that is the one thing it has for it. So it does have adjustable up and down. You just can't turn it. But um, someone left a comment on this chair, on that chair, which was really smart was, if you don't want the armrests in your way, just don't install them. If they bug you and like you just need that free space for your arms, you can just not install them. So when you're installing the chair, you can also have the armrest a little bit out. It won't be a lot. As you guys can see right there, like you have a little space to slide it. Um, so it could be further out this way a little bit and you don't have to be as close. So if you do want an armrest, but you don't want it up tight against the chair, you do have just like a little, little finite amount of room to like move it outwards a little bit. Um, I'm 6'5", the chair feels really nice and the back sits really high. Um, that's one thing I did notice right away. Right when I got the chair, I was like, man, this back is high. So I'm sitting all the way back and my head is on there. So if you're 6'5 um, and you're a tall guy, you can't just sit back and your head won't be just leaning off the back of the chair. It does. You'll be able to lean back and be just fine. Another feature with this chair is 
This back part right here, it is a massager as well. So if you just connect it, it'll come with the wire already connected into the chair. So all you have to do is you can slide it right here through this little crack. If you guys can see it, you can slide it through the back if you want to get it out the way. And it hides pretty good. As you see right there, it's been in there and it's been in there the whole time. I don't know if you guys seen it, but, but yeah, there you go. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. That's the chair just vibrating now. And that's all just coming from this part right here. But even though it's in there, you can't really feel nothing in there. Like, as you guys can see, I'm pushing it. There's nothing there just, um, just pushing into your back. It's like all the way in the middle, all the way in the back. And it's really like a little thin line or a thin little stick. So you don't have to worry about it annoying you or anything. Now, I guess one of the biggest features of the chair is the leg rest. I'm guessing that's what you're paying a little bit extra money for is the leg rest portion and the massager is probably what you're paying for in that extra $50. So let's pull out this leg rest so you guys can see it. So when you make it, it's really easy to install. It's not too complicated and you just slide it out as you guys see, and then you just flip it over and then you have a leg rest. Um, if you're just chilling, you want to kick up your feet, playing a story game, you're at work, taking a break while you're eating or whatever, you have the leg rest to kick up um, your feet and relax. Once again, Buzz, I am 6'5", so I'm going to sit in this chair for all the tall folks. You guys want to see what it looks like. That's what your legs going to be looking like hanging off of there. I have some really long legs, so any other tall folks out there, this is what you'll get. I ain't going to lie, it's pretty comfortable and I might fall asleep if we was playing a late game session, I'll probably be knocked out. So there you go, buds. That's what um, the leg rest looks like. So that's probably one of the main features of this chair. And of course, to pit it back, you can fold it and then slide it back under. And there you go. And it's out the way. It's not really sticking out nowhere. You see right there. They're just hiding it right under there. One more thing I want to say about the chair. When it comes to sitting in the chair, um, when you're sitting all the way back, uh a lot of tall people you're going to notice that the back is really good so it's going to cover a lot of sizes right when you put it together you're like man this back is really huge um you'll be fine with a back base when it comes to sitting all the way back in it a lot of people's feet probably won't touch the floor my wife is five foot and her feet just dangle right above the floor like right above the floor i'm probably gonna make her sit in the chair so i can get b-roll of it but her feet barely sit or barely just don't touch the floor. So if you're in that five foot range and you're like, oh, can my feet touch the floor while I be comfortable? You might have to sit up a little bit more. So um, if not, you can look at the GT racing chair, like I said, in the cards, or I put it down in the description as well. Cause my wife could sit in that one perfectly fine and her feet touch the floor. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up. All right, but so there you have it. Um, there's nothing much more I could really break down. Uh, for you guys so i hope you guys like this review and i just want to get another budget gaming chair on here that is like a nice quality so you guys don't have to pay like 400 500 because i know i see those same chairs and i want those same chairs still but these budget options are really good for people that are trying to upgrade their setup and get a nice chair so you can definitely look at this one um, for sure. I put the link down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to leave a like buds. I really do appreciate all the support and thank you to all my subscribers now. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you for helping me get past 2000 subscribers. My wife is reaching out to the company to get a discount code for us. So if we get a discount code, definitely I'll put that down in the description below because I think they mentioned one, but we don't know. So my wife is on top of that. If we get a discount code, it'll be down in the description below. So you guys can use that code and uh, save a couple bucks. But all right, buzz. so there you have it. Um, definitely, like I said, if there's a discount code for you guys, we'll definitely um, put that down there so you guys can save a couple of bucks. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I have no clue what it's going to be. Uh, this was the last product I had. I reached out to more companies so we can get some more um, products in here. Hopefully they reach back to us and hopefully they send some out. So until the next video, buds, I'll see you guys. You guys be safe out there. Peace.